My job as the aircraft commander is to make sure that everyone is kept safe, together with the overarching goal of reaching our mission objective. I get the aircraft in the right place, at the right time, so that the operators and subject matter experts can do their job. When I receive the aircraft from the maintenance department, I obviously make sure that we're fit for flight. I'll perform the walk around. It's a, a fairly quick process to get out of the taxiway. I get a thumbs up from the chief operator and I make the final performance preparations and then we're ready to roll. The Global Eye performs just as any other global aircraft. Uh, although uh, major modifications have been done exteriorly, we have very similar flying qualities on the Global Eye. Once airborne, the Global Eye is mission ready almost after, immediately after the gears are up. The sensor suite can start working and we can get a good picture and overview before we reach the operating area. With the seamless integration that we have, uh, we have all the mission information available on the tablet up front. That makes it easier to take the optimum decision to be in the right place at the right time. Global Eye is not just an aircraft, it's a strategic asset uh, that can manage and control information and distribute that to relevant authorities. The Global Eye's extremely long endurance, where missions can stretch well over 11 hours, puts a lot of demands both on the platform but also on the crew. And there is a rest area available to make sure that we can carry an alternate crew to be able to support the mission.